Today we're heading outside Tokyo for an event a whole year in the making. The area we're heading to is Matsuda, and the event is nothing other than the Mikan Harvest. Let's go! Off the Tomei Expressway, about an hour from Tokyo, is an area full of Mikan trees called Matsuda. Here, one of our friends has a farm and invited us out to their annual Mikan picking. Where are they going to land? I don't know. It's got to be cold. I think it would be a little... Oh, here comes Joshua. Oh, oh Joshua. Samu. The drive to get to Matsuda is full of traffic on Saturdays, so we were waiting for the rest of the group to show up before picking Mikans. But no problem, everyone was hungry and had brought their own bento to eat. Oh, here we go, down the path. What will we find? Whoa. Skoi, watch your step. As we walked towards our lunch spot, we weren't quite sure what we had gotten into. But a tree loaded with fruit promised us a great afternoon. This would be a fun day indeed. Our friend Rika welcomed us to her beautiful picnic area, complete with a barbecue pit and playground, not to mention some great views of Mount Fuji. Well, John, this, is the, this is the year of the views, right? Yeah, man. The views wow. of Fuji. Cloud kissed Fuji sun. John, did you bring your tent? We should have brought tents. We should have brought tents. We could be camping here. Like right here. Right here. Perfect. And you just wake yeah. up and look out and look at Fuji. Man. <laughs> wow. So true. <laughs> that is awesome. This is a great camp spot. As my friend John and I swooned for the view, Ruth was busy swooning over something else. What is that, Ruth? Oh, it's like a really thick miso shido soup. Ooh. Called, called something. Hey. Oh boy! <laughs> nice, enjoy! Having some fun at a friend's place! What a beautiful day! Wow! Becca, you got a hitchhiker there! <laughs> a praying mantis! <laughs> Look at this swing partner you got here, Anna. Eliana. Joshua. After everyone had eaten and played their hearts out, the long awaited moment arrived. It was time to pick some Mekons. Don't let go! Is this legal? Kurobe? <laughs> Kurobe Gorge? Oh man, crazy. Japanese citrus fruits are similar and yet different to the varieties found in the Western Hemisphere. When we first saw the Satsuma oranges at our local grocery store and gave them a try, we instantly fell in love with the sweet, tart taste packed into these little oranges. They're easy to peel and great for a snack, but we prefer their Japanese name, the Mikan. Josh, well, you got you some, huh? It is it good? Paper. You like Mikans, don't you? I don't know. Is it yummy? Becca's gonna pick this Mikan right here, huh? You get it? Oh, you got it. Oh, nice. Then you have to get the stem off. Is that what you're working on? Yeah, or it's gonna sucha, sucha. If you don't do this. Look what I just now peel. And, and now I'm gonna eat it right now. Okay, let's see. Woo, got it. Got it. It looks good. It's pretty good. Oh, Sarah, you gonna get one? Oh, you're eating a Mekon while picking Mekons. When picking Mekons, you need to completely remove the stem. Otherwise, they can poke other Mekons in the basket and cause them to go sour. And if one goes sour, they all go sour. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I see so. Right there. I'm in this. Ready? One, two, three. Look at mommy. Yay! Good job. Hey, let me take a picture of you. I think you came in afterwards. Oh, Becca. Can I try a piece of this? Yes. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna try this right now. Hey, come on. Hey, guess what? what I'm making this. I don't have it. Hey, 
look. Where did they go? In my pocket. Look <laughs> okay. what I got. You I got, got a Mekong too. Everybody's got Mekongs. Oh. 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 Mm. Today we are at a Mekong orchard. Picking Mekong. Look how big mine is. Look how big it is. Anna's over there. Joshua somewhere. There's just so many Mekong. What were you saying, Joshua? I was saying this is only white and crossing white. Why? Because there's Mekong all the time in the tree, sometimes. <laughs> just like Animal Crossing, huh? Yeah, because yeah. it's Animal Crossing, there's some um, Mekong on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> See, Mekong now. Yeah, there, there's Mekongs. Mekongs everywhere. Mekongs everywhere. Sarah, what do you think? Is picking Mekongs pretty cool? So cool. <laughs> then you have to cut the top off so it's not sharp, right? Yeah. So the other Mekongs don't go bad. Picking Mekongs is so much fun, you have to be careful. Before you know it, you fill the whole bucket without even trying. And as the afternoon went on, I began to wonder just how many Mekongs our family had picked. Look at all those Mekongs, the Isomans. Yeah, Look at the whole, a whole bushel for seven people, you know. Mama's having fun. Mama time. <laughs> I am picking Mekons, yo. Ruth was in her element and quickly adding to our basket. It was fun to see the whole family really get into it. Daddy's that my humongous Mekon. Wow, that is a massive Mekon. Did you hear what they're called in English? No. Uncle John says they're called cuties. Look at this. In the English. Why cutie? <laughs> cutie? I don't know. It's I a thought, cute little tangerine or a cute I little orange. <laughs> it's good. Ruth's ready for the harvest. <laughs> it's like bringing in the like sheep. Little ones. Bringing the little in the sheep. They're easy for my kids too. <laughs> oh my baby! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I found a stick. Yes. <laughs> I want to pick a mikan too. At least a mikan stick, huh? <laughs> All the time in the orchard reminded us of one of our favorite Japanese tongue twisters. Do you know how to say there are two chickens in the garden in Japanese? Ah, that's what he wanted ah. me to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> look, look at that. You just chilling right here, huh? That's as cool place as any just to chill, I guess, huh? Cool. Finally, the time came to weigh out. The big question would soon be answered. How many Mekons did we pick? Was it more or less than the others? Would we still like Mekons in a week? All right. Yes. Oh, thanks. I think I thought. Yes. 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 Yes.
<laughs> and that was our adventure picking Mikans not far from Mount Fuji. So I guess the big question now is, do we still like Mikans? The answer is yes, and we're already looking forward to next year. And if you like these videos, consider subscribing to our channel. Next week, on Friday, December 24th, it's Christmas Eve, and at 7 p.m., we are going to do our live stream of Life in Japan, the Christmas family celebration. And if you are in the area, you can join us in person at Paz Coffee Shop. All the details are in the description, so please check it out. So thanks for liking, subscribing to this channel. Until next time, until next week, we'll see you on Life in Japan. Bye-bye.